Today we're going to be talking about a company called CoStar. They're a commercial real estate company in Virginia. They've been under fire a lot recently because workers who have quit have just ratted them out to Business Insider. And let me give you the TLDR of just a few of the things that CoStar has allegedly done. In May 2020, 15 IT workers at CoStar were told to make 100 unannounced video calls to their fellow coworkers working at home. Now, the reason the IT people were told to do this was to check how fast people would answer unannounced video calls and to see how fast those people would put their video on if they did choose to put their video on and to see if those people were wearing professional attire at home. So here's what the IT people were told by the company to tell the employees they were calling. We're just calling to check to make sure your internet connection is up to par and our company VPN is working as intended. They were secretly sitting there taking notes. It's just intrusive. It's invasive. And you want to know what they said about it? The official quote from the company is, we will not apologize for these standards, nor will we compromise them to accommodate a vocal few who decide that this level of expectation is not for them. That doesn't seem like expectations. That just seems like invasion of privacy. Why does it matter if someone works at home in sweatpants? There's no reason to be dressed up in a suit and tie at home if you're just sitting on the computer doing work all day. Now, one thing that stood out to me is, accommodate a vocal few. Uh, I mean, it's more than just a few. In fact, there's an entire Instagram account dedicated to just roasting this company. And I know you guys think I'm jaded and cynical and disgruntled. We'll get back to this. This is the CEO of CoStar, CEO Andrew Florence. As you already know, he is not a big fan of working at home. But how do you think he feels about working on private jets because this is his private jet right here it's 2019 bombardier global 6000 i went to the faa registry website and i can see that costar reality information owns a fractional portion of this jet this is a 2001 version of that jet and the fractional price for one fifth ownership in a 2001 version is 1.35 million euros so this plane here that he owns is a 2019 and if it's even one fifth it's got to be in the upwards of tens of millions now, i was trying to track them to see all of their business expense vacation meetings that they have but they turned that off so i thought that was kind of funny he held raffles to get people to come back to work in which he gave away teslas to employees but here's the thing you don't actually get the Tesla. They just let you use it. Another thing they did was hold a giant town hall company meeting in which he tried to use data and statistics to convince people to come back to the office. And this is the slide. So we have 4,900 employees. And if we were all over 80 and none of us had the vaccine, only one of us would die. Why don't you care? Why, any, if anyone dies, that should be a problem. But still, people are immunocompromised. People just like working at home. This is not the way to go about getting your people to come back. Imagine even being a CEO and spending time on this. Just let your people work wherever lets them do their best work and then look at the results. It's not hard. Anyways, back to this Instagram page. Uh, the company knows that this Instagram page exists and they know that there's a disgruntled employee. They actually raised security around their co-star buildings because this Instagram page exists. Some of these memes, oh, they're just so like this one, right? <laughs> like, come on, like... So after they found out about this page, they immediately went and upgraded all the security around their buildings. They're worried about their staff when an Instagram page of memes comes up. But hey, only one of us will die if we come back to the office. You know what I mean? Like, so you can see how they value risk. Here's actually what CoStar said. We are aware of the Instagram account that Nate Peterson, a disgruntled former employee, created and are aware that it contains false, defamatory, and inappropriate content. A number of employees who have been inappropriately and personally attacked by Nate Peterson have complained to the company. Among the majority of employees who enjoy working at CoStar Group, many have reached out and expressed dismay that anyone be, would be participating in something like this. We are concerned that Nate Peterson has an unhealthy obsession with the company and a number of people that work here. He has repeatedly documented himself visiting the company premises and making obscene gestures. We are concerned for the safety of our employees. This, by the way, is what they're talking about in that message. This is what Nate is actually doing, his obsession with CoStar, making obscene gestures. Um, he just looks like... He's very happy. He looks like he's having a fine day and he's not on company premises. And I find this to be quite humorous. And I assume other people feel this way since there's an entire archive story and it's just pictures of people giving the bird. It's a different co-star building. So that's when they spend a bunch of money to upgrade their security system. Now this is a fun little image showing the co-star group being a donator in 2021 to political parties. And it looks like here, homie's trying to play both sides. I mean, what do you expect from a CEO?
Got to get those tax breaks somehow. One more thing about this Instagram page here. Like I said, the company knows this exists, but they're taking it up a notch. Hey, as a heads up, apparently, if you're up for promotion, they are checking to see if people are following the CoStar Memes account. So if you're going for anything, might want to temporarily unlike. All right, so let's talk about getting a raise at CoStar because this shit goes right along with everything I've ever said. So number one, managers determine merit and promotion increases for their team members. You think that you can climb the ladder and it's up to you to work hard and get paid? It's not, as revealed by the human resources book here. So then I'm always memeing about how small raises are. And if you want an actual raise, get a new job, go to a different company, because this is what that looks like. If you exceed the expectations, if you're in the top 20% of their workers, you get a 6% increase. This doesn't even keep up with inflation. So you're losing money. Let me show you another page given to managers about how they should decide on how much of a raise they want to give you. So consider a 5% raise when the team member's current base pay is high relative to other people. So if it doesn't feel fair, perhaps 5%. Consider a 10% increase when the team member's current base pay is low relative to the other team members. Here's a promotion example. Current base pay, 50000 A whole $4,250 for working your ass off. Get a new job if you want money. This is... This is what you're gonna deal with. One common theme around CoStar is that nobody likes the CEO and the CEO humiliates people. In fact, uh, there are some glass door reviews talking about this is a company like no other company I've ever seen. They took a young up and comer who actually liked working at the company and sent him to headquarters telling him they were gonna record him selling LoopNet, which is what they use for marketing for their company, so that they could teach the new incoming training classes. So they were gonna record him selling and then show it to everyone else. It turns out what the CEO actually did, he used that footage as a way to show you what not to do in front of 1,000 other salespeople at his sales kickoff. Watching the CEO show this video, pausing multiple times in the video of what not to do to humiliate the person that he's told, I want to use as a training video. Now this one, this was a good glass door review that I just thought was hilarious because of how savage it was. Grow up, Andy. Helen Keller could have made this company successful up until 2019. <laughs> So here is a glass door review about a job they offered for photography where you go out to take pictures of commercial real estate assets that they own or want to purchase or for clients or something like that. But apparently you don't actually do that much photography. You just sit and do a bunch of data collection all day. But when you do go out and take photos, it's micromanaging on steroids, according to this post. If you are stopped somewhere for more than 10 minutes, you know, getting out, taking photos, changing your angles, composition, all that stuff, you will get a call from your manager asking why. Just think about that. If you're stopped doing work, they're going to assume that you're not. Not only that, they look at satellite images of where you stop to take pictures so that they can decide for themselves if they could see a particular building or data point. So after sharing with you everything I've shared so far, I'd like to show you a glass door review that's five stars and you tell me if you think it's legit. CEO is the number one reason I'm still at CoStar after 20 plus years. The man is a genius, has an endless vision on how to innovate our products to benefit our customers. Company simps write this sort of thing. And I'll prove it too, here you go. Andy, our CEO, walks around, he talks to everybody, and every office we go to, everyone has had kind of this Andy experience, but I think it's cool as a CEO that everyone knows him. Do you see how employees disguise micromanagement in positive words, because that's, that's what he just said. Walks around, he talks to everybody, and every office we go to, everyone has had kind of this. Yeah, he'll even make sure that you're wearing the right clothes while you're working at home. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for today's video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button, subscribe if you'd like to see me call out corporate some more. I know you can't or you'll get fired or blacklisted or not rehired again, and I'm already there. So go ahead and send me everything you got about your company within reason. And uh, if you think it's roastworthy, if I think it's roastworthy, we'll put it on the channel. Make sure people know that companies can and will and keep doing this sort of nonsense. I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. I'll see you in the next one.